Yes. Uh, well, as a, as an addendum, first of all, what I just said over there, just if you turn around, you'll see in that corner a chapel. That's called St Peter at Vincula, or St Peter in Chains. And under the floor of that chapel are interred the bones of those seven people That's I mentioned who were executed within the tower. Um, but the other thing to know about the tower is that, as well as being what we've got so far, a fortress, what else can you remember that I've said it is? Prison, place of coronation, and well, place of execution. The other thing is that it is a place for keeping royal treasures. So, um, most famously of all, of course, the, the crown jewels are kept here, the actual crown jewels. These aren't replicas when you go and see them. These are the actual crown jewels. So you'll read descriptions of them, the, you know, about the diamonds that are set in them and the other precious stones. It is slightly mind-blowing if you let yourself go to it for a second. And the other thing that's kept here is a great selection of armour. Um, and um, art, because of course being a fortress that we connected back to the beginning, this, this was an armoury, this is a place to be prepared to stage an, uh, an armoury. And so there's a great um, exhibition in there of royal armour, particularly look out for Henry VIII's 1515 uh, horse armour, which, which shows that there is slim and it's got skirts and they have H and K for Henry and Catherine um, engraved on it, a beautiful pomegranate, Catherine's sign, Tudor roses, Henry's sign, and then contrast that with this 1540 field and tournament armour, which shows the great weight gain in the days. So that's worth looking out for those. Um, so, just one last thing, because you see, so you might you might choose now to go into the security to see the Royal the Crown Jewels, or to go and see um, the armour, or you might want to go down and see the torture devices, um, uh, or you can go on a tour at the sort of edge of the uh, the, the curtain wall and see some more um, graffiti, particularly from Catholic priests who were present here, or there's something, there's a lovely piece of graffiti in the street towers <coughs> called Hugh Draper, who was in prison here in 1561 for sorcery, and he was drawn this big astrological symbol, but otherwise you'll see um, references to, um, uh, to Catholic faith. Um, and the final thing is to note that in the 13th century, this place was used as a menagerie, a royal menagerie. So when you see representations of monkeys and elephants and lions here, it's because they were kept here for the entertainment of the royal family. So that is the, the, the history of the tower in an absolute nutshell, um, but hopefully it gives you time to see some of the stuff. Any questions?